I hope you guys are relaxing and enjoying the warm up room, which is designed, the warm up room is designed just to get us sitting and get our bodies prepared and ready for the session. So once again, I thank you. And we're gonna get started very soon. While we are sitting in a warm up room, maybe we can start out with a nice deep intentional breath. Simply filling our lungs with oxygen. Inhale. Holding our breath for a couple seconds before we exhale. Simply noticing how that breath feels with our body. Simply noticing. Namaste, peace and blessings. Thank you once again for joining me here this evening. I ask that we find ourselves in a nice, comfy, seated position. Any seated pose that feels good for you, may we find that seat. And while we are sitting in our seated position, if we want to cover up with the blankie, we may do so simply using the blanket to provide warmth and comfort to our mind and our body, if we choose. Seeing how we feel with our blanket or without a blanket. Seeing how we feel in our seated position of choice. Shoulders back nice and tall. Back is nice and tall. Deep breath in. Inhale. May we hold the breath for a couple seconds before we exhale. Maybe when we exhale, maybe we notice how the breath relaxes and soothes our mind and our bodies. Inhale. Exhale. With each exhale, maybe we'll notice how our shoulders fall downward away from our ears. Maybe we notice how our bodies relax deeper inside of our yoga mat. Maybe. If we feel comfortable, maybe slightly gaze our eyes downward towards the earth. Or maybe we softly close our eyes if we feel comfortable. Simply using the down gaze to relax us and help us go inward here this evening. Inhale. Exhale. With each exhale, feeling our bodies relax, feeling our minds ease. Nice and gentle, seated, comfortable position. Palms are downward on the mat beside our bodies. Using the palms, using our palms to feel the energies of the universe. Inhale. Exhale. With our palms, relaxing and resting on the mat. Maybe we can lean slightly towards the right, feeling our body side stretch, bodies leaning over towards the right, feeling the stretch. Natural breaths here as we bend and feel the stretch. Exhale back to a seated position. Bodies back straight, nice and easy. Both palms are on a mat. Chin slightly up, eyes still gaze downward. 
slightly leaning towards the left. Arm goes up in the air, nice and easy. Feeling our bodies lean towards the left, chin slightly up. Feeling the side stretch here. Tummy's nice and tight. Exhale, back to a seated position. Nice and tall, body straight. Both palms are on the mat. Chin slightly up. Maybe we can bring our palms together at heart center, seated prayer. Eyes gaze softly downward towards the earth. Using this moment to go inward using this moment to find our inner peace, using this moment for self-care. Seated prayer, inhale. Exhale, palms are at our side, palms are at our side, palms upwards, chin slightly up. Inhale, exhale, inhale, palms above our head, seated salute, palms above our head, seated salute, exhale, seated prayer. at our side, palms up in the air, palms facing upwards, inhale, seated salute, exhale, seated prayer, palms on our lap, nice and easy, as we do a couple of seated cat-cow rotations. Starting with our cat. <sighs> Feeling our back go out, outwards towards the back. Moving up to our cow. Feeling our back sink in. Nice curvature of our spine. Chest is up and open towards the earth. Heart chakra is open in our cow. Inhale. Exhale, back to cat. Back is going out towards the back. Tummy is in nice and tight. Chin is going in towards our chest, towards our clavicle. Cow. Cat. Back to cow. Inhale. Exhale, back to cat. Inhale, back to a nice seated pose. Seeing how we feel in our seated position as we find ourselves in our tabletop pose. Positioning our bodies in our tabletop. Our hands are underneath our shoulders, leveled out. Dropping down to a cow. Feeling our bodies sinking. Feeling our back sinking. Feeling our head go up slightly towards the earth, towards the heavens. Cow pose, chin slightly up, back is sunken. Inhale, exhale to cow. Inhale, cat, cow, inhale, cow, to cat. Back to neutral. Seeing how we feel in our neutral. We're going to do a thread the needle. Threading our left arm through our right arm. Nice and easy. Shoulders going down towards the mat as we are threading our needle. Shoulders down at the mat. Our head is down at the mat. We are in our thread the needle. Relaxing.
Maybe we can bring our right arm up in the air and slightly wrap it around our back, feeling the stretch here, and I'll thread the needle. Inhale. On our exhale, may we unthread our, maybe unwrap our arm, bringing our right arm from behind our back, placing our right hand on the floor as we lift our body up, unthreading our needle, finding ourselves back in our table. Right arms out to the side, threading the needle opposite side. Right arm threads through the left, nice and easy. Maybe we can lift our left arm up in the air and wrap it around our back, feeling it stretch. Inhale. Exhale, unwrapping our arm, pushing ourselves up off the floor, taking ourselves out of our thread and needle, finding ourselves back in our tabletop. Inhale, exhale. Bird pose, right leg to the back, nice and straight, left arm out in front of us, feeling our body's balance here in our bird pose. Tummy's nice and tight as we slightly gaze forward. We'll hold this pose for two to three breaths. Feeling our body strengthen here in this pose. One more breath. Inhale. And on our exhale, we'll bring our knee to our elbow. Exhale. Feeling the crunch here. Feeling our abs work. One more breath, back to bird pose. Right leg back up in the air, left arm out forward. Inhale, exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale, back to bird, back to table. Dropping our bodies down to a wide legged child's pose. Nice and relaxed here. Two more breaths in our wide legged child's pose. Inhale. Exhale, back to table. Bird pose opposite side, left leg out to the back, right arm in front of us. Feeling our body's balance in our bird pose. Slightly looking forward slightly gazing downward, feeling our body strengthen here. Two to three more breaths. Inhale. Exhale, knee to elbow. Hold it. Inhale. Exhale, back to bird. Inhale, exhale, knee to shoulder, knee to elbow. Exhale, back to bird. Inhale, exhale, back to table. Finding ourselves going back to our wide legged child's pose. Relaxing our body here. Maybe in our wide legged child's pose, maybe we can take two nice deep intentional breaths in. Inhale. Finding ourselves back in our table, 
hands leveled with our shoulders underneath. Inhale the cow. Exhale the cat. Inhale the cow. Exhale the cat. Finding ourselves coming up in our kneel position. We are on our knees, nice and easy. Shoulders are up nice and tall. As we are in our kneel pose, chin slightly up. We are going to prepare our body for camel. Bringing our hands on our lower back, nice and easy. Maybe applying a little bit of pressure on our lower back. Allowing our shoulders to slightly roll to the back, doing some shoulder rolls. Shoulders up to our ears, rolling to the back. Shoulders up to our ears, rolling to the back. Feeling our back slightly bend here as we go back. Nice and slow, feeling a nice settled back bend here in this pose. Nice natural breaths here as we go deeper in our back bend and our camel. And if we want to go deeper and touch our heels, we may or we can stay where we are with our hands on our hips. Whatever feels good for you. Two more breaths here. Hmm. Inhale. Exhale down to a child's pose. Feeling our bodies relax in our child's pose. Nice and easy. Coming up to our table. Inhale. Exhale and down to a downward facing dog. Seeing how we feel in our downward facing dog. Maybe we can walk our dog. Head on our legs, front to back. Feeling the stretch here in our downward facing dog. Going nice and long. Slightly looking up at our hands. Feeling the stretch here. Inhale. Exhale. Maybe we can gaze backwards at our feet. Feeling our stretch even deeper, allowing our chest to move forward towards our yoga mat. Nice deep stretch here. <sighs> Walking our dog if we choose, pedaling our feet. <sighs> feeling the power, feeling the strength in our downward facing dog as we are strengthening our arms here and our downward facing dog. <sighs> Two more breaths here. <sighs> Inhale. Exhale in three-legged dog, right leg in the air, nice and tall. Slightly looking back at our feet. Slightly looking up at our hands. Maybe we can bend our right foot towards our left buttocks, feeling a hip open here. Two more breaths. Back to our three-legged dog. Back to downward facing dog. Waving our body to our tabletop. Going down to our child's pose. Relax. Hmm.
One more breath here. Inhale. Exhale back to table. Downward facing dog. Three legged dog, left leg in the air. Feeling a stretch here. Looking back at our feet. Looking up at our hands, feeling our body stretch, bending our leg that's in the air, opening up our hips, bringing our left foot towards our right buttocks, feeling our hips open here. <sighs> Straightening that leg back to a three-legged dog. Inhale. Exhale back down to a downward-facing dog. Inhale. Exhaling our body down to a dolphin. We are on our forearms with this blanket. We are on our forearms and our dolphin pose. Yes, relaxing out here. Maybe we can walk our body up on our tippy toes. Stretching our body here in our dolphin. Walking on our tippy toes here. This dolphin pose prepares us for headstand. Two more breaths here as we play on our tippy toes. Coming down to our knees, finding ourselves in our wide-legged child's pose. Two more breaths here in our child's pose. Nice and easy. <sighs> Coming back to our table. Back to a downward facing dog. To a high plank. Down to a chaturanga. <sighs> Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. <sighs> Upward facing dog. Chaturanga. I'm sorry, Cobra. Coming down to our wide-legged child's pose. We'll hold this for two more breaths and we're gonna repeat the cycle we just did. Table, downward facing dog, Plank, Cobra, hmm. Upward Facing Dog, Downward Facing Dog. Hmm. Upward Facing Dog, Downward Facing Dog. Hmm. Back to upward facing dog. Down to cobra. To wide legged child's pose. We'll hold this child pose for three breaths. breath inhale exhale waving our body to a table finding our bodies in a downward facing dog 
Walk on our hands in front of us to a complete forward fold. Palms on a yoga mat if we can reach or palms on our lower legs, whatever feels good for us. Complete forward fold. Hanging out here for a couple breaths. Feeling the stretch behind our legs and our hamstrings. Maybe we'll come up to our fingertips, slightly lifting our back slightly up, shoulders slightly up, chin slightly up. Inhale. Exhale to a half forward fold. Back is up nice and tall, leveled. Slightly looking forward in our half forward fold. Finding ourselves in our Tadasana. Hmm. Nice and easy in our Tadasana to our standing salute. Hmm. Standing prayer. Going down to our chair. Maybe prayer hands in our chair or hands in front of us in our chair. Feeling our quads and our glutes working here in our chair. Two more breaths. Palms together, palms towards the chest. Chair pose, prayer hands. Slightly twist to the right. Chair pose, twist. Two more breaths. Coming back to center. Twist to the left. Coming back to center. Complete forward fold. Hmm. Hanging out here and I complete forward fold for two to three breaths. Slightly coming up on our fingertips and I complete forward fold. Chin slightly up, shoulders back nice and tall. Tummy's nice and tight. Going down to our high plank. Holding our high plank. Two more breaths here in our high plank. To a side plank. And don't forget, in our plank, we can always modify by going down to our elbow. We don't have to be up high in the air. Two more breaths in our high plank. Coming back to our plank. Side plank on the opposite side. Two more breaths with our side plank. Coming back to our plank. Coming forward <sighs> to a downward facing dog. Tummy's nice and tight, feeling the stretch here. Moving to an upward facing dog. <sighs> feeling our bodies relaxing here in our upward facing dog. Inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. <sighs> left leg in the air, three legged dog, left side. <sighs> Bending our left knee slightly, left foot to left hand. Finding ourselves in our runner's lunge here. Slightly looking forward. Maybe we'll straighten that front leg. Finding ourselves in our extended forward stretch. Body's leaning over that front leg, feeling a stretch. Hmm. Bending that front leg again, finding ourselves back in our high lunge. Walking our feet towards the edge of the mat, bringing our left arm into the mat, into our legs, positioning ourselves, applying pressure on our left hand, slightly bending our right foot and opening our wing, right arms up in the air, slightly looking up at our right arm, tummy's tight, feeling the balance, feeling the body working in our right leg or left leg or both. Two more breaths. 
closing our wing, both hands down to the floor. <sighs> Back to our runner's lunge, to a downward facing dog. <sighs> Maybe we'll walk our dog here. <sighs> Waving our body down to a table, going down to a child's pose or a puppy pose. <sighs> Using the breath here in our child's pose to relax and calm our body. Nice and easy in our child's pose. One more breath. Inhale. Exhale. Table. Downward facing dog. Feeling the stretch here. Three legged dog, right side, right legs up in the air. Slightly bending that right knee, right foot to right hand. Runner's lunge, opposite side. Slightly looking forward in our runner's lunge. Nice deep inhale. Exhale. Slowly walking our right feet to the edge of the mat. Bringing our right arm inside of our leg onto the mat. Applying pressure on our right hand as we slowly twist our back foot. And opening up our left arm, left wings up in the air. Our left arm is up in the air as we slightly look up towards our left arm. Feeling our body's balance here. Two more breaths. Closing our arm, closing our wing. Both hands are on the mat. High lunge or runner's lunge, shall I say. Inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. <sighs> Maybe we'll walk our dog here. Finding our paws, waving our bodies to our table. Finding ourselves in a wide-legged child's pose. Maybe we'll take a nice, deep, intentional breath here in our wide legged child's pose. <sighs> Inhale. Exhale the table. <sighs> Downward facing dog. <sighs> Left leg in the air, three-legged dog, left side. Bringing our left foot to our left hand. Runner's lunge to warrior two. <sighs> to warrior one. Back to warrior two. To reverse warrior. To extended side angle. Staying in our side angle. Prayer hands. Framing our front foot. Runner's lunge. Extending that front leg. Feeling that extended stretch. Body's leaning forward over that front leg. Bending that front knee again. Back to our runner's lunge. Back to a downward facing dog. Inhale. Exhale. Walking our dog. Three legged dog, right leg in the air. Inhale. Exhale, right foot to right hand. Runner's lunge, warrior two. <sighs> to warrior one. 
to warrior two, reverse warrior, extended side angle, staying in our side angle, prayer hands, Turning forward, framing that front foot. Back to our runner's lunge. Straightening that front foot. Feeling that extended stretch here. Slightly leaning over that front leg. <sighs> Bending that front leg again. Back to our runner's lunge. Inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. Waving our bodies to our tippy toes, waving our bodies down to a table, down to a child's pose or a puppy pose. Nice and easy. <sighs> Walking our fingers slightly to the front of the mat, feeling our stretch here. Waving our bodies to a table. <sighs> Downward facing dog. Three-legged dog left side, left legs in the air. Looking back at our feet, at our foot. We're gonna go to pigeon, pigeon pose, bending our left leg, bending it in front of us. Pigeon pose, left leg forward. <sighs> Waving our right arm in the air, allowing our right arm to ballerina back towards our leg. Feeling that stretch, feeling the spinal twist as we slightly look over our right shoulder. Feeling the spinal twist here. Coming back to forward center, framing that front leg that's bent, coming down to a sleeping pigeon. Nice and relaxed, alligator hands in front of us. We'll hold this two more breaths and our sleeping pigeon. Sleeping pigeons awakening, using our hands, our palms to push us up. Untucking that back foot, downward facing dog. Hmm. Feeling the stretch in our downward facing dog. Feeling our palms become one with the earth and our downward facing dog. Spine is nice and long. Maybe we want to walk our dog. Finding pause, three-legged dog, opposite side, left legs in the air. Slightly looking up at our front hands, bending our left foot, bringing our left feet in front of us. Pigeon pose, left side. Oh, and I think we just did the left side, so I'm gonna Untuck my toe, coming back to my downward facing dog. Right foot's in the air. Yes, nice and tall. Three-legged dog, right side. Feeling a stretch here. Bending that right foot. Bringing my right leg in front of me. Pigeon pose, right side. <sighs> Waving on ballerina, my left arm in the air. Back to my leg. Feeling a stretch here, slightly looking over my left shoulder. Feeling a spinal twist here. We'll hold this for two more breaths. Bringing my hand forward, framing that front leg. Going down to my sleeping pigeon, making my alligator arms or my sleep pose arms. Relax. Hmm. We'll hold this for two more breaths. Oh. 
awakening the pigeon, slightly coming up, untucking that back foot, finding myself back in the downwards facing dog. Bringing my feet forward, complete forward fold. Palm is on the earth, on the yoga mat in front of us in our complete forward fold. Or palms are on our lower legs, wherever we can get to. Simply feeling a stretch in our complete forward fold. Feeling a stretch in our hamstrings behind our legs. Coming up slightly on our fingertips, which will push our backs up slightly. Chin slightly up. Coming to our half forward fold. Coming to our Tadasana. Coming to our standing salute. <sighs> to our standing prayer. To our chair. Going down as low as we can in our chair pose. Back to our complete forward fold. <sighs> Hanging out here in our complete forward fold for two to three breaths. <sighs> Coming to our downward facing dog. Inhale. Exhale, upward facing dog. Dropping down to our cobra. Going down to our child's pose. <sighs> Two breaths here in our child's pose. One more breath. Inhale. Exhale to our table. Finding ourselves on our side, stacking our legs on top of each other. <sighs> Feeling how we feel in our side pose. Legs are stacked nice and easy. Yes. Now maybe we can come off of our elbow and completely come down to the yoga mat. Finding our bodies relaxing and whatever arm we are applying pressure to, may we allow that arm to come straight above our head and slightly rest on that arm. Our body should be completely shaped like a lowercase l, nice and straight. With one of our hands we are using to keep us up. We'll call this the kickstand hand. Yes. Hold this for two more breaths. Tummy's nice and tight, feeling our body's balance as we slightly lift up our leg that's on the top. When we're lifting up our leg, this is the alligator's mouth opening. We are preparing our body for alligator pose. So leg slightly open is our alligator's mouth. Our hand, our kickstand hand, may we slowly bring it above our head, creating the alligator's tail, relaxing our head on our arm, both of our palms will connect and we will rest on our arm, legs slightly up, creating our alligator pose. May we hold this for two to three breaths. One more breath. Inhale. Exhale, slowly closing the leg. Slowly lifting that arm, the kickstand arm up in the air and bringing it down by our side, allowing us to roll on our backs into our Savasana. Nice, deep, intentional breath here in our Savasana. And if we feel a little chilly, may we grab a blankie if we feel chilly. Here in our Savasana, we're not ready to go on Savasana yet. It's not time. We're gonna bring our knees to our chest Knee to chest pose as we are hugging our knees into our chest. Back is straight, 
leveled out and relaxed on our yoga mat. Nice deep breath. Inhale. Exhale. As we allow our legs to slowly fall to the left, legs, knees are to the left. We are in our reclined spinal twist. Knees to the left. Right arm comes out to the side like a T as we slightly look over our right shoulder, feeling a spinal twist here in our reclined spinal twist. We'll hold this pose for three to four breaths. Coming back to center, knee to chest. Allowing our legs to fall to the right. Recline, spinal twist, opposite side. Left arms out to the side like a lowercase t. As we slightly look over our left arm, feeling our spinal cords twist here in our recline, spinal twist. We'll hold this for three to four breaths. Coming back to center, knees to chest, hugging our knees. <sighs> Exhale, legs straight up in the air, legs on a wall, or in our case, invisible wall, unless we're next to a wall. Legs on a wall pose, aka candle pose. Tummy's nice and tight. Bringing our hands inside of our legs and slowly spreading our legs, reclined, wide legged stretch using our hands to slowly and softly push our legs apart without causing any pain. We want to apply slight pressure because over time our legs will go further and further apart and that is the goal to take our bodies to new levels in many cases anyway. I mean who want to stay on the same level all their lives? Isn't life about advancing for many people anyway? So that's what we're doing when we are slightly pushing our legs apart our goal is to get our legs to go further and further apart we'll hold this for two to three more breaths bringing our hands to the outside of our legs now and softly pushing our legs back together nice and easy knees back to chest we'll hold this for two breaths Bringing our feet down to the floor, keeping our knees bent, feet down to the floor, preparing our bodies for a bridge pose here. Using our feet to slightly push our buttocks off the floor. We are working our glutes, we are working our buttocks right here. Using our feet to slightly and slowly push us off the floor. Maybe we can hold it here, feeling our glutes get nice and tight as we squeeze our glutes, our gluteus maximus here. Yes, nice and tight, buns of steel, gluteus maximus. We'll do this for three to four more breaths. Feeling our bodies, feeling our buns, get nice and tight here, feeling a squeeze, feeling a burn. Two more breaths. Inhale. Exhale, relax. Finding ourselves in a reclined pigeon. Right leg, crossing our right leg over our left. Lifting up our left leg. Feeling a stretch here. In our reclined pigeon. Bringing that leg back down to the floor. Reclined pigeon opposite side. Crossing the left leg over the right. Lifting up the right leg, feeling a stretch here. Reclined pigeon, opposite side. Coming back to table, knees to chest. Legs back up in the air, legs to wall or candle. Slightly bringing our hands up to our legs, behind our legs. 
We want to feel a stretch here. If we choose, we could bring our legs to our face, feeling a stretch here in this pose. Nice deep stretch. We'll hold this for two to three more breaths. Maybe pointing our feet upwards towards our head to feel the stretch deeper. Coming out of that nice and easy. Back to knees to chest. Maybe we can cross our feet at our angles, at our ankles, crossing our feet at our ankles. Tummy nice and tight, allowing our body to come up into a boat pose here. Uncrossing our legs in our boat pose. Legs are out, hands are parallel with our legs. Feeling our tummies nice and tight here. We just worked our glutes, so we might as well work our abs. Boat pose works the abs. And we can go deeper in our boat pose by extending our legs forward, up in the air, in our boat pose. Or we can modify here in our boat pose. And in this boat pose, with the modification, we can cross our feet above each other. And we can feel our abs working even more here. We'll do six of these. Finding our pause, back in boat pose. And maybe we can slightly lean forward and grab our feet with our hands. If we're able, yes. Grabbing our feet with our hands. I'm gonna come slightly forward. Feet with our hands, back is straight. And maybe we can bend Keeping one leg bent and straighten out our left leg. Seeing how that feels. Balancing our bodies here. Tummy's nice and tight. Bending that leg, bending that leg back. This is a bolt variation. We are doing bolt variations here. Now we're gonna straighten out our right leg in the air and keep our left leg bent. Yes. Feeling the stretch here in our right leg. Feeling our bodies balance and feeling our abs nice and tight. We'll hold this for two more breaths. Coming back to center, both legs are bent in our hands. And we can try one more, extending our left leg, now extending our right leg. Both legs are now extended high in the air. Tummy's nice and tight. Feeling our bodies balance here. And if we feel well, may we slowly allow our legs to come apart just a little. Yes, feeling our bodies balance here as our legs slowly come apart in our boat pose. Feeling our abs work. Two more breaths, we'll hold it. Coming back to center, nice and easy, slightly bending our legs, our knees. Maybe we can bring our feet together in the air. So palms of our feet together in the air. Yes, using our hands to squeeze our feet together, keeping our tummy nice and tight. Maybe we can hold this for two to three more breaths. Tummy's nice and tight. One more breath. Lowering our bodies down, finding ourselves in our diamond pose or our butterfly. Feet's gonna stay together. Here in our butterfly is where is when our legs are closer to our body. Diamond pose is when our legs are further apart. Whatever feels best for you. I'm gonna stay in my diamond or my butterfly. Maybe I'll go back and forth. And if we wanna slightly move our legs and our butterfly flapping our wings we can that's up to us or we can slightly apply pressure with our forearms and use our body pressure to allow our legs to come closer and closer to the earth and our butterfly and we'll notice over time and the more we do this the more our legs will be able to be connected to our yoga mat over time Yes, yeah, so we're just using our bodies to push soft pressure downward, or we can spread our wings and move our legs and our butterfly. We'll do this for another three to four breaths. 
One more breath. Allowing our legs to come to the outside of our legs. Allowing our hands to come to the outside of our legs. And slowly bring our legs together. Nice and easy. Finding ourselves back in our reclined pose. In our Savasana, we are laying back on our backs. Knees or back to chest. <sighs> Bringing our legs back up in the air, legs to the wall. Or candle pose. Bringing our hands in, slightly bending our knees. Finding ourselves in our happy baby. Hanging out in our happy baby. Maybe we can play with our feet, moving our feet left and right, up and down. Whatever feels good for you and your happy baby. Or maybe you want to go deeper and bring your legs above your shoulders. And we call this an ear press. And eventually, it becomes a pretzel. Feeling our bodies relax in whatever pose we may be in. Happy baby, ear press, or pretzel. Every pose is connected in some way, shape, or form. Just like in life, everything is connected. We are all connected. May we hang out in our pose of choice for four more breaths here. in our bodies, bringing our legs back up to the air, legs on the wall pose, inhale, exhale, maybe we can come up to a shoulder stand, walking our upper back and shoulder blades together towards our spinal cord and our shoulder stand. And maybe we can bring our left or right leg up above our head. Maybe we can interlace our hands behind our back in our shoulder stand if we're able. Simply fill in a stretch. Playing with our legs if we choose. One leg in the air, one leg at your head. Feeling a stretch. Switching legs. One leg at your head, one leg's in the air. Feeling a stretch. Coming back to center, neutral. Coming on down, nice and easy. From our shoulder stand. Back to knee to chest. Inhale. Exhale. Both feet flat on the floor. <sighs> Lifting our right leg up in the air. Connecting our right fingertips to our right toes. Grabbing our feet with our right hand. Bringing it right leg towards our face as much as we can feeling that stretch here in our hamstrings as we allow our left leg to go forward on the mat so our left leg is nice and straight and our right leg is up in the air in our hand and we are feeling a stretch here the hamstring stretch we'll hold this for three more breaths Inhale, exhale, back to knees to chest, both knees to chest. Now grabbing our left feet with our left hands, bringing our left leg straight up in the air, feeling a stretch, trying to bring our left leg towards our face, our bodies, extending our right leg nice and straight, downward leveled out with our yoga mat. Left leg is in our hand and in the air. And we are feeling the hamstring stretch here. Three more breaths.
back to knees to chest. And now on our legs, both legs to extend down, finding ourselves in our savasana. Legs are straight, parallel. Maybe we can grab a blankie if we have something there and cover ourselves up with it if we feel a little nippy or cold. Maybe we can allow the heels of our feet to touch each other side by side as we allow our feet to fall apart, completely relaxing our bodies. Maybe we can slightly gaze our eyes downward, closing our eyes. Feeling our bodies relax here in our savasana. Inhale. Exhale. Feeling our bodies completely relax here. We'll hold our savasana for one to two minutes simply using this time to go inward and relax and silence. Maybe we can slightly turn to our side into a fetal pose if we choose, or we can stay in Savasana if we want. I'm gonna come to my side in my fetal position. We're gonna hang out here for another minute and a half to two minutes. Keeping our eyes gaze downward or closed, relaxing. Maybe we can slowly wiggle our toes in our fetal position or our child's pose. I'm sorry, in our fetal position or our savasana. Simply trying to wake up our bodies. Maybe we can wiggle our hips, wiggle our shoulders, slowly awakening our bodies here. And if our eyes are closed, May we softly and slowly open them, nice and easy, awakening our body. Or we can always stay in our savasana or our fetal pose. The choice is always yours. Whatever feels best for you. As I slowly come up out of my resting pose but you can stay down there in your resting pose stay covered if you choose stay relaxed if you choose if you should come to a seated position find a nice comfortable seated position that's good for you may you find any seat that feels good for you
am going to bring my palms together at heart center. And I would like to thank you for allowing me to guide you here today. And I would like to thank you for taking the time for self-care for yourself because self-care is a necessity. The light in me sees, appreciates, and respects the light in you. Namaste. Amen. Thank you so much. Until next time, I will see you on the mat. Peace and blessings.